I take it you two have worked together before? Yeah, 10 years ago, I was assigned to Scotland Yard. Holmes worked homicide. You said there were also signs of a struggle in the master bedroom. Just in the safe room. What safe room? One behind that wall. The extra weight of the safe room steel reinforcements can cause the floor around it to decline slightly, creating a slope between one and five degrees. <gasps> Sometimes I hate it when I'm right. Hey, Mark. The show is Sherlock Holmes in Manhattan, in America, modern day. Your father told me you said you were a detective. I was a consultant at Scotland Yard. I wasn't paid for my services, and therefore I answered to no one but myself. We get to shine a lens on a different side to him because of the time and the place that our story is set. When I read the script, I was really excited to see that Sherlock was so incredibly colorful and that they were willing to push the envelope a little bit. My name is Joan Watson. I've been hired by your father to be your sober companion. I'm here to make the transition from your rehab to the routine of your everyday life as smooth as possible. This is definitely a gender change for what's been historically known as Dr. John Watson. They start this relationship where she's sort of protecting him and trying to figure him out, and then at the same time, he knows her more than she knows him, so it's interesting. You're a doctor, you understand. Uh, I'm not a doctor. Well, a doctor, surgeon, judging by your hands. He's a bit of an outcast. He's eccentric, he's brilliant, he's definitely an outsider. He, he, he's an alien, you know? He's so different from the rest of us. There are two broken glasses here. You can tell from the volume of shards. Obviously, she was pouring a glass of water for her guest, but he assailed her. Right. Is that something you would do if some nut job comes in and kicks your door in? You ask him if he's thirsty. Base of glass number two. My character doesn't really care for this guy at all. He's always questioning me, questioning my gut feelings. Holmes can't really articulate things in a very sensitive fashion. His hands were around my throat. Good, uh, excellent. So you got a good look at his eyes. Well, correct me if I'm wrong, but a, a strangler can literally not be more than an arm's length from his strangler, can he? That's what, two, two and a half feet? I'm twice that distance from you now. I can see that your eyes are a lovely brown. I think I'd like you to leave now. Why? Because I know that you're lying. Mr. Holmes. You have the blood of an innocent woman on your hands. Perhaps you'd like to go for two or three or four. That's enough! The wonderful thing about Joan is that she comes from a more emotional place, and that value will bring a lot to their relationship. I especially like the relationship between Holmes and Watson. That really is the, the driving force for the piece. In your car keys. I'm sorry, not just for your car, but for the way I spoke to you earlier, I just... Couldn't help yourself. Yeah, I'm starting to see how that's kind of a thing with you. I want you to let me in on the rest of the plan. I happen to think there's some hope for you as an investigator. 